Now, these seven points now come to our to this time that uh, requested by Andreas about the Lojong by Shama Kunjo Ila, yes, the fifth Shamarpa. So, Shama Kunjo Ila or fifth Shamarpa, these small books, it's quite very, very tiny, easy to bring wherever you want. Yeah, very beautiful, very nice. And uh, pocket book, yes. So, so this Shamar Kunjo Ila is a fifth Shamarpa out of Shamar uh, uh, incarnations who did lots of great and wonderful, you know, like uh, uh, work in our lineage, you know. Uh, so lots of uh, great contributions. Even Mahapala practice what we have doing, what we are doing nowadays, you know, also Shama Kunjo and many more. So however, now this Lojong uh, uh, do So, the uh, is a short lojong uh, 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 instructions. Yes. So first of all is that um, uh, uh, refuge. Yes. First of all is a refuge. Refuge is to the perfect guru. Yes. In the most precious mind of awakening, the glorious Dharma Lord Atisha. Yes, receive these key instructions on training in developing bodhicitta, the mind of awakening from Lama Selingpa. As I said earlier, the source, Lama Adi Adisha, who went to Indonesia and met Selingpa uh, uh, and what you call received these uh, uh, Lajong teachings. Yes. So, although there are many different teachings on the subject, this has been composed according to a spiritual friend. To check our seven point systems. So I said there are many different Lojong teachings out of them. This is according to Chacheka, what seven points mind training? Yes, there are eight verses to uh, mind training, seven points of mind training, different, different. But this is as the what you call um, the uh, Chacheka, yes. So seven points are the, the, prelim the preliminaries. Present, presenting the practitioner's basic Dharma teachings, number one. Number two, a man practice training in bodhicitta, awakening mind. Number three, transforming adverse circumstances into the path of awakening. Number four, explanation on incorporating the practice during one's lifetime. Number five, evaluating progress in mind training. Number six, the mind training commitments, number seven, the mind training guidelines. So these are the seven points of mind training, yes. And so out of this, uh, uh, so the first one is, as you see this out of seven, these seven points, the first one says the preliminary is presenting the practitioner basic Dharma teachings. So the, which is the first point. <coughs> training in the preliminaries, yes. So, um, training in the preliminaries, yes. So, preliminary uh, serve as a very, very good and firm foundations for, for whatever practices, teachings that you want to build up, add, add up later on, yes. So, as we want to build a very good or uh, many stories of building, the foundation must be very good. If the foundation is not good, then one or two levels, three, four stories level afterwards, you know, it may not be very, you know, like, uh, 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 it, more, it may not be very safe, long-term run, it, it may collapse, it may, whatever, you know. Uh, so uh, foundation is very important. So what are the foundations? If you see here that consider the fact that although we know have a human body, it will be difficult to obtain one in the future. Consider that the time of death is uncertain. It may arrive all of a sudden. Uh, consider that all sickly existence entails sufferings. And consider that sufferings originates in non-virtues and happiness originates in goodness. So basically these 
the first point talking about preliminary here is uh, one way we can think about since you all are you maybe uh, already practice Wondo. Yes, many of you already. So uh, since you, you have practiced Wondo, that Wondo is also preliminary practices for Vajrayana or Mahamudra Wondo. Yes, we have Wondo, Mahamudra Wondo. Meaning you want to practice Mahamudra. So according to practice the Mahamudra practice, the actual practice, you need Mahamudra preliminary. That is one context, you know, that one could understand if you are Vajrayana practitioners, you are especially Kagyu practitioners, and Kagyu practitioners, men, a core of the Kagyu practice or man practice, that the essence of the practice where we call is Mahamudra. So since we are going to practice that as an actual practice, the, the preliminary also, you know, we associate with the, what you call Mahamudra preliminaries. Similarly, now here, preliminary is not talking about Mahamudra preliminaries. We are, there, there is no of the, the refuge and bodhicitta. There's no of the mandala offering. There's no talking about the, the, the Vajrasattva purification. There's no talking about Guru Yoga. Yes. So these are especially Vajrayana now, Mahamudra uh, preliminaries, the extraordinary preliminaries. Now, the, these preliminaries, what we are uh, talking about here is it serves all level of Dharma practices. Yes. So whatever Dharma you do, whatever you want to do, you know, whenever you want to do, there must be a very, very good reason that why you want to practice Dharma. Yes. There's something must trigger you, something must, you know, draw you a very, very solid reason you know, use, use your intelligence to analyze whether this practice, whether the Buddha's teachings, whether whatever, is it relevant or not? Is it uh, really uh, helpful or not, beneficial or not? Many things you use and analyze, and then finally you may, you know, decide, okay, this is something that, you know, inspire me, inspire us, yes? Something that is useful, meaningful, so now I want to just, you know, practice Dharma. I want to study Dharma, you know? So same way, you know, uh, the one sort of like way that if you want to practice Dharma, one reason, one good reason could be these preliminaries meditations, the analytic meditations. When you analyze the precious human existence, how precious it is, what makes it precious? So if you analyze, if you analyze on this preciousness, this preciousness talking about the uh, 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 compared to other beings, one. Number wise, two. And the causal of the uh, uh, effect of being in being as a human, three. Uh, so there are few few sort of like points that makes really precious the human existence compared to other beings. Let's say if you just take one big stone, you know, lift, if you just lift one big stone, you may not able to count the insects under that big stone. Just at one big stone unto that, there may be countless insects which may not able to count. And one, one sort of like uh, lake, small lake, under that lake, how many in, in animals are there, we may not able to count. But human beings in general, yes, we can count. 7.6 million human beings, among them, those who meet Dharma is very, very few, very, very few, if you compare to 7.6 billion human beings. Those who meet Dharma is now they're talking about Lojong here is, you know, if you talk about the first, the introdu introducing yourself, you know, 
like who you are, who we are, when we're talking about Dharma practice, Dharma practice, actually, one way of Dharma practice is before, until when you make Dharma, you never practice true nature, true who you are, never introduced to yourself, your natural mind, inner nature. You always, or we always introduce to our inner nature who we aren't, actually, who we are not. That inner nature never introduced who we are. So one level of Dharma practitioners means introduce your true nature to these, the, how do you say, the, to the co-emergent wisdoms or this inner nature of the mind. So that level, when some of us, we are very, very few people, human beings out of 7.6 human beings who meet Dharma only. Then some of us, after introducing, next level is familiarizations, the practice. Yes, what makes us, what makes us Buddhist? What makes us Buddha's follower? What makes us meditator? What makes us yogi? Uh, what makes us, uh, what else now? Yogi, meditator, Buddhist. Also notion that we can give, you know, so, um, as we are practitioners, as we are meditators, as we are Buddhists, all these words, whatever we put it, actually shows something that we are practicing something. We are Buddhist means we practice something. What is Buddha's teachings? Yes. And if we are meditator, we meditate something. Yes, we meditate something. And we are yogi, yogi, yogi. Now here is something that you use to reach the inner nature, yogi. The very direct sort of, you know, the meaning if you bring here, yogi. Yes, there are many yogis we can talk about, but now the very direct and the very, very, the, the, the point of the yogi, naljor, and true inner nature, co-emergent wisdom, what we have, something, whatever practice we do, bring to that inner nature, yogi. So, we are meditator, we are yogi, what we are practicing, sometimes we do not know what we are practicing. <laughs> we, we are yogi, we are meditators. And because this meditation or this yogi, yogi do what? Yog. What kind of yog? Like uh, if you go to the Vajrayana, Kriya Tandra, Charya Tandra, Yog Tandra, Antara Yog Tandra. Yes. <laughs> so actually all these tell the meaning is that you are getting familiarized, you are getting familiarization, you are making, you are, you are, first you introduce yourself to this inner nature. Next level is you try to practice, you try to meditate, you try to yoke, whatever you do, all, 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 whatever you do, all try to show, all try to express, all try to give, all try to direct, which direction? Direction is, before you never introduce yourself to the inner nature, you never introduce the, the, the real uh, uh, part of the who you are. Once you introduce after reaching Dharma, then next is now you practice, you meditate, you do your, then one time, two time, three time, hundred times, thousand times, million times, billion times, then you become more like a close friend, become more close friend then very, 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 very close. Then two, almost like two into one. Two people, body, mind, everything into one. Like that kind of familiarization. So that is real, that is real meditator. That is real Buddhist. That is real yogi. Yes. When you get familiarization, what? Familiarization on the practice that whatever you do to introduce the 
the, the true nature of you know, your mind, in the nature, getting to there. <coughs> then, after that, then the next level, after you practice, after you meditate, after you, you all do the yoga, familiarization, get better, 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 then you get the result is fully like sustainable, like in, irreversible, like very introspective, the, the confidence, the level that you gain from the practice. Yes. So that level, when you introduce to Buddha Dharma, when you meet Dharma, yes, and uh, the preliminary part is like when you meet Dharma. After you meet Dharma, then you practice Dharma, you meditate Dharma, you do the yoga, which means, you know, getting closer, knowing each other more, more, more closely, really, really like, like getting into you and Dharma, you know, merging into one. So that kind of, you know, uh, uh, practice or meditation or yoga or whatever we say, that is now necessary here. One of the preliminary is talking about here is to meditate, to think, to really analyze how really precious we are and these, these conditions that we have, is it possible to get again and again and again in the future or not? Compared to any many sentient beings, very few. Among these few, meeting Dharma is really few. Even within Dharma, practicing get really the second level there. Yeah? First is the meeting Dharma. Second is really practicing is fewer. Practice and getting the result is even fewer. Like that way, if you see, then it makes sense that we really need to, you know, use these opportunities, use this precious human existence, this time what we have, yes, we gain as precious in existence. But if you think the next preparation he talks about, it's uncertain how long we can use this opportunity, how long it lasts. There are many, like a summertime, different kind of holiday destinations, offer, 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 offer. <laughs> holiday, holiday destination is limited only for summer until this date to this, that, that. Similarly, at least these offer have a fixed date, but our life, there's no fix. This opportunity, what we have, the potential we have, the opportunity we have, is one marvelous human, this body, this existence we have, how long we can have it? One year, two years, one month, two months, one week, two weeks, or one day, two days, or one hour, two hours. There is no really fixed and guaranteed. Since this is the case, it makes sense why we should practice Dharma now, not to wait. Then after that, next, the preliminaries is about, okay, if we don't practice now, there's okay, danger of losing. Okay, doesn't matter. If we lose, what happens? Then the next is, if we lose, whatever we have, accumulated uh, from our body, speech, mind, you know, at least in this life, since, you know, at least in this life, until we die, whatever we have accumulated, so-called karma, you know, that, how to say, uh, that is the one, the karma is the one determine the, our future. We do not have that moment our future depends on our own actions, our own body actions, our own speech action, our own mind actions, result. Now that time is result is overwhelming. That time is we don't have, you know, what we want to do. The present moment, at this moment, we, we, have, we have options, we have choices, we have, you know, uh, we, we have somehow freedom to choose. But once, we finish this opportunity, we lose this opportunity, then the result, the credit, the accumulations, whatever you have in this entire life, that will determine. Since this is the case, example, 
example, because there must be also logic. Otherwise, just saying that not enough. But I also said that, yes. So logic here is what you want to do next hour, it is, it depends on present hour. What you want to do tomorrow, it depends on today. So that is very clear. Everybody can really follow this logic. Same way, yes, the future lives, future time depends on present life, present time. So now in that, you know, the analytic motivations, or if we do this in, in that context, then it, it kind of like get clear that, you know, why we really need to, you know, engage into Dharma now, this life, not waiting for next life or next time, next opportunity. So, yeah. So this is the first points, talking about preliminaries. And then sometimes we don't have to meditate all these for, in, within these first preliminaries, first point, the preliminaries, there are usually four points. Uh, yes, subsequently added here, but sometimes just one point, out of point uh, uh, four, one is enough just to, just to really kick. You know, it's like kick, <laughs> give a kick to start really to do it. And we know sometimes, oh, I want to do something. I want to do, uh, we know how important we are, or we just being lazy, you know, here and there. Then time one day finish, two day finish, you know. Same like I remember always when I do exam, you know. <laughs> the first time when I was very small, when before I realized that it's, the study is important, when I was very small, then, you know, really don't care about studies, yeah. So the teacher uh, then only studies. Otherwise, teacher, 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 you know, try to you know threaten or try to scold and only study. Otherwise, no point. Yeah. But then exam coming. Uh, I will study tomorrow. Today I'll play. I'll study the, that way. You know, days finish, months finish, start exam. Exam already reaching. Tomorrow is exam. You know, and sometimes uh, tomorrow morning I will get up. Now I'll sleep. <laughs> Yeah, until I was like maybe until I joined the the theater, I was I was like very I mean I'm very small, yeah, very small compared. I think I was like until I was I think 13, 14 years, I was not really studying much. Until 13, 14, I was really play, playful, playing all the time. Then 13, 14 years between there, then wake up. You know, then I really then I don't need anybody to tell me studies, you know. Then from there on, I always get first position, first position, first position, first position. No need anybody to tell me study like that. Until 13, 14 years, I was not really studying. There was different language, like Nepali language. There was like uh, uh, little English te uh, te teaching uh, classes. And there was like, I think what, you know, Tibetan grammar. There was like Tibetan, uh, uh handwritings and uh then uh, uh what else we have uh little mathematic so there are a few like that and then at that time our monastery was also not really well organized with a school institute you know just we have two classroom all the monks one classroom was senior one classroom was junior that's all we have and then then i was studying of course i was studying under the uh, private tutor and in my own room also. And it, there was no any like uh, institute or systematical in the way of studying learning like that. So, yeah. So when the monks are playing, I never get chance to play that much. And then I just start playing inside my room, you know, then I, I think like, uh, how nice if I'm these monks, they can get play, they can get chance, time to play, you know, but I don't get, you know, <laughs> like these things and then, yeah, like that. So, so similarly, like when the exam reach, it's too late then. <laughs> then it's too late. So, yeah, until 13, 14 years, uh, I was like that. Then after that, oh, you know, I'm talking about all these kind of like studies part, you know, this kind of like 
uh, these, the languages and the, 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 the Dwayne grammar, this part. But I was not, I was, I was somehow I was gifted in uh, the, the meditation part and the, the uh, those like uh, uh, Vajrayana practices part, I was very um, somehow uh, gifted from, I think definitely from my past life, credit that residual credit was there for me. So when I do meditation in a monastery with the different practices, Vajrayana practices, then it was like, dung, dung, dung. it just come automatically, naturally. You know, I don't have to put that much effort to these things. But to study Nepali, English, and all these, what you call grammar and languages and these, you know, the different kind of like the school stuff, then there I, I was not really good until 13, 14 years. And I, only 13, 14 years, then I, then I, you know, wake up and then I studied by myself without anybody, you know, uh, it's called you know, guidance and so on. So like that, I mean, like, so we are, like my example, you can now know, you will, you would know that we always like that, you know, tomorrow, 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 like that, the, the, the Dharma as well, the practice as well. Which may be really, you know, which may be like great loss, you know, and when tomorrow comes, you are not fully prepared, you know. So since the chance that we miss, you know, uh, then uh, if we miss the chance, then that when the time comes, nothing that we were prepared and then it's a regret you know the big you know, regret pull that we may uh, encounter in you know, difficulties or problems or stuff or, or, or yeah so on so um so so it's it this the preliminary is some kind of kick up that you do it now do it now don't wait don't don't distract it don't yes and then don't be lazy and so on and then especially the, the next one is like the karmic, uh, the, the defect of samsara. And now, defect of samsara is very clear from the pandemic, from the war, from the, from the you know, all never, never ending problems in life. One problem solved, next problem is there, next problem solved, next problem is there. We, so, you know, all this, the defect very, very clear in our life. We all, everyone has experienced the defect of samsara. So don't have to point out, go through that much. So yeah, so so all these max, you know, really if we really think, if we really analyze, then they all bring a good reason to practice the, this dharma, yes, practice dharma. So this is basically the preliminaries. Uh, yeah, so this is the basically the preliminaries uh, pra uh, the, the practice. Yes, the first point. The first point usually we bring. We usually bring, yes, uh, the four subsequently with four different practices or four different points of meditation for the first point, yes. So, which is very common to everybody who practices more, who practices wonder, yeah. Wonder, yeah. So first wonder, we have uh, ordinary preliminary, extraordinary preliminaries, yes. Common wonder, yes, uncommon wonder. So, common wonder, these are the same. Common ordinary means it serves preliminary to not only Vajrayana, not only Mahayana, not only Theravada, all three Yanas, yes, Mahayana, Theravada, Vajrayanas, uh, all three uh, Buddhas, uh, follow, followers, the group or, you know, the, the divisions, all these preliminaries serve as a very good foundations, preliminaries, as preparations, so therefore it's called common or ordinary, common to all, not only specific, not only Vajrayana, not only Mahayana, not only Theravada, like that. Yes. So this is the first point, yes. Oh. Is this the one? Is this? All right. Then among the Dalala, Sunam. So now, after the first point, mm, mm, that second, now the second point, the second point, which is the man practice, is training in. De uh, developing both as aspect of awakening mind, ultimate bodhicitta, and conventional bodhicitta. 
So, second, Moshi Changjub Sam Jong As, yes. And now here we have the training in uh, absolute bodhicitta, yes. Training in conventional level bodhicitta. So, training in absolute bodhicitta uh, uh, that either we practice these with the support of uh, 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 any shrine or just without shrine, just you, you know, do uh, imagine, uh, Im imagination uh, sort of way uh, that you can meditate with this practice. And however, that the first, uh, the, the training to the absolute here, that uh, if you, if it's possible, you have the Tirbal Gems uh, shrine support like Buddhas, yes, gurus and lineage masters, uh, of especially for Lojong, or then Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, or Dharmas, and, and so on, yes, any of this support. Then uh, what, what is the practice here is that usually that you do, uh, what is it called? Uh, you connect, you know, you connect. Uh, with these uh, support, yes. So here, as you can see, the preparation passes of the former um, ultimate bodhicitta takes place before the Lama and the three jewels, whether material, materially present or visualized, meaning whether you have statue, tanka, like, you know, shrine, or without, yes, or without, without, yeah, you can visualize. Uh, recite the manam refuge until the mind has has been transformed. Then offer a seven branch prayer and develop bodhicitta. Yes. So, um, uh, this uh, practice here is although it says training to absolute bodhicitta, but this is name of the absolute bodhicitta is just given here. It's not the absolute bodhicitta itself. Because absolute bodhicitta meaning those bodhisattvas, not like us, us we are like baby bodhisattva, yeah? <laughs> I used to call baby bodhisattva. Baby make always different kind of things, you know? So we, although we have bodhis bodhisattva vows, but we have not trained uh, enough to master it. So that's, like, that's why we have baby bodhisattva. Meaning, we make lots of mistakes. We break all the time the bodhisattva, bodhisattva vows. So, absolute bodhisattva, bodhisattva practice is like it's one once you practice and certain uh, certain point or level when you reach, which is normally, you know, the bodhisattva practices uh, goes with uh, what you call the ten stages. Yes, bodhisattva practice level then gradually the first bumi, second bumi, or the first stage, second stage, and so on. When you reach first stage, first bumi, out of the 10 stages, 10 bumis, that moment, the absolute bodhicitta, the real, the actual uh, absolute bodhicitta, you know, uh, without, uh, without fabrications, is uh, the true, the authentic, genuine absolute bodhicitta will be uh, 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 able to practice or well, how do you say that uh, the, the true uh, practitioners of absolute bodhicitta will be the first, the bodhisattva who reach first bumi, first uh, stage, yes? So that is the, the actual one. Until then, of course, we can imitate, yes? We can, we can, we can act, acting, 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 what you call now, acting, acting president, acting prime minister, you know? Until the real permanent permanent is not there, real president is not there. So similar like that, we can we we can be like acting bodhisattva for this uh, level of practice. So for that, of course, then we need these kind of practices like having shrine or visualize, and then you use the practice. The first is like manam shiko manam gada nimbas mitu nama sangge rumba jitu so manam gada nimbas mitu nama gudir chiu so manam gada nimbas mitu nama dajen on jitu manam gada nimbas nama fujiru ko this manam she means here is certain manam refuge is we say the manam refuge means this actually it's it's, it's talk about the the 
the the kayas, the four kayas, Dharma kaya, Sambhava kaya, Niman kaya, Shavava kayas, yes. So this kind of like refuge, refuge to these kayas, yes. And uh, yeah, so um, then until your mind has been transformed. So you practice the, uh, it's like a, it's, it's like a training, it's like a, you practice these uh, absolute bodhicitta with the, uh, having the understanding of uh, the, how do you say, uh, nature of, uh, 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 Yeah, emptiness, the test of emptiness that you gain and until, until then, or for now that we have everything exists very like solidity to us, very like concrete and very, very solid, very real. Until the things that we see, things that, we, that appear to us, the way we, the way we take now, the way we perceived now, that per, per, sort of like the way we perceive can be totally changed with the view of emptiness. The things that the things appear to us, the by appearing, by hearing, by seeing, by smelling, we all perceive, yes, and then with these, the the consciousness, yes, different uh, uh, level of consciousness, then we somehow judge, judge, we judge. Once we judge, then one part of judgment, judge, when we judge, the judgmental results comes, something you accept, something you, how to say, you know, do not accept. Within this, then the sigla existence of samsara, this, somehow starts or somehow that we, we, we somehow trip into this cyclic distance. So the transformations here is when you, you know, practice this together then the transformation can take place with this view, with this practice, yes, having this view. So this view is now very important to have uh, the result of transformations here. And uh, uh so then after that uh until the heart of awakening has become manifest i take refuge in the both buddhas likewise i take refuge in the dharma and the assembly of bodhisattvas just as sugada of the past cultivated awakening mind and progressively trained as bodhisattvas Stage by stage, for the sake of beings, I too will foster awakening mind and train just as they did, stage by stage. Uh, so, uh, now here is, this is now very, very uh, well-known press or, or stanzas. This, this phrase is well, very, very well-known in all the, what you call, um, Nagarjuna Chandideva. Yeah, Shandi Deva, Shandi Deva. Although we have a two main lineage of the Bodhisattvas, uh, Bodhis Bodhisattvas, yeah, practices. Uh, we follow you know, vows and practices in two different lineages. But now this Shandi Deva, Shandi Deva, as you know, are uh, very famous. Uh, uh, the uh, master or teachers who who live like very like simple and not not very simple and act and non like uh, he or he doesn't know anything about dharma you know all the time people see he's sleeping yes he's eating <laughs> and and then only making toilet food <laughs> so sa nya tang bu su ku so he's when people see, when the, the Sangha, they see his life is like that. So this is really not nice, they think. In order to change this view, this 
because this may influence other sanghas also because of the way he acts eating sleeping and going toilet <laughs> eating sleeping going toilet not one day not two days weeks months years so having this kind of sangha in our sangha then it influences is not good example for others then the, the, the management team um, the masters decided now we should you know kick him out but how to kick him out you know so they bring idea okay or oh, every time every month there is a uh, dharma sh sharing or dharma teaching to the public and then the masters they time by time they teach they share dharma but let's give this this time we will uh, put him uh, shandideva uh, busuku before shandideva he was known as busuku so we will put him in front of the all the public uh, people and then let him teach normally they put dharma teaching throne but that then even they put very high dharma throne yes and then then said they were accepted and then came and then sit on the throne unknowingly because they actually they tried to bully him that there was no even stair to climb the, the throne and you know magically or because he was very highly realized master but nobody know said there was uh, was highly realized master they think is very stupid eating sleeping and going to toilet <laughs> only they see this but in secretly he is practicing very very high level of practices and already realized masters so yeah so then he started to give these bodhisattva charya avatar teachings yes so where are these these verses are there these verses are there so changum nimbu shiji bars until i become buddha uh sanje namo tetsu yes yes uh uh Uh, I take refuge to Buddha Dharma Sangha. Mm. Now I generate this or cultivate this enlightened attitude of mind. Eh? Which way, like past Sugatas or past Buddhas, past Bodhisattvas, not only generating or not only cultivating, not only wishing, but only also. practicing you know applying yes so because the bodhisattva the practices compile into two two level one is wish only making wish aspirations i want to go to bodh gaya i want to go to nepal just a wish okay but then you you don't pack up you don't buy ticket you don't uh uh arrange all the, the everything that the, the traveling or this tour or this or this this you know journey whatever you need to prepare you need to put effort to you know buying ticket to you know booking hotel or whatever that is you know that, that in the, this journey you know everything you need to put effort getting into bus or train or then to aeroplane or so on and so forth then you will never reach our destination just by aspiring just by wishing just by you know uh, just by thinking not on, only not enough of course first wish aspirations necessary then you have to do so body <clears> the <throat> body uh uh sanju gisem body chitta yes this cultivating in latin original mind is like that one is aspirations i want to become buddha For the well-being of all sentient beings, that is beautiful. Yes, very nice, but only that, not enough. Yes, only aspiration of I want to become Buddha for well-being of all sentient beings. Then that's only not enough. Then you have, we have to practice for that to reach the sort of enlightenment. Yes, then for that we need to how to say the, the second part is then applying or practicing. Similarly, the past Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, how they aspire and how they practice, how they apply. Ah, so both that the this you know taking Bodhisattva vows has both level of Bodhisattva vows, yes, aspirational and the cultivation both. So, uh, 
That is for what? That is for only for self-interest, self-purpose? No. Uh, uh, 장주승님께 That is for benefiting the entire sentient beings. The aim, the aim is, the goal is benefiting the entire sentient beings. Yes. Because so far we have been always looking for self, I, my, you know, like whole universe all sentient beings, somehow, you know, the, the, the fundamental, the, 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 how do you say, uh, the, the, how do you say, the, uh, uh, the, the, the trapping in this samsara or struck in this samsara is we all have one identity. I, my, what else? I, my, uh, then maybe I, my, Mm, something you know like related with that only we are not able to open up you know like buddha so that is the main the fundamental reasons that we are stuck in the samsara yes uh, so uh um now here is two level here one is for the, all these sentient beings, yes, for they for, for, for the really selfless in let's say the Grindara uh, manifested in front of the Atisha and then give this line. The most precious practice or the teachings or the practice that you need to do is yes, be selfless, yes, in an attitude of mind. A cultivation on in our attitude of mind for the well-being of certain beings. So that practice, that view, that how do you say the attitude, serve everything for the Buddha Dharma, especially related with the enlightenment state. Those who wish to stay at a state of enlightenment. So this this serve everything. Those who wish to, of course, reach just the nirvana. Uh, nirvana just arahat, just a one-time uh, stream inter internal or uh, non-returner or, or this result, not important. But those who directly sort of like related with the enlightenment purpose, then this cultivating uh, on the enlightened attitude of mind is compulsory or necessary or very important, yes. Without this, it's not possible. So that way, mm, that way, then uh, that way, cultivating on these two level of bodhi citta. Yes. Uh, so uh, then, after that, is seven points of mind training or practices is added here. Yes, seven points of mind training or pra practice added here to accumulate merits. Seven points of mind training. Thus, yes, it says that. Uh, after this, then send branch prayer, strength, strengthen your uh, physical physical posture and breathe uh, serenely in and out 21 times, no more, no less. This is how one become a suitable vessel for meditative uh, stability. Uh, so after this, Seven branch practices or seven branch prayer or what you say. But important here is the 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 prostrations, uh, prostrations that makes you that makes us our arrogant and the ego taming. You know, uh, together with this, the refuge and refuge uh, a way we go refuge, and then offering sense means letting go. Uh, letting go the attachment, greed. Uh, second, then third, um, confessions. Confessions here is that knowing all the uh, unwholesome activities and deeds that we uh, intentionally we 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 
we we remember and we 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 did in at least in this life that we remember, and then unintentionally that we 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 may have done in this life or another other life we may not remember everything to confess to be confessed. So that is the, the third point or third links. Uh, <clears throat> And then, then the rejoicing is opposed the the attitude that we have, like jealousy, getting you know, in jealousy, uh, jealous about somebody's achievements, somebody's whatever, whatever, you know. So opposing that kind of attitude, which is not healthy, which is not, which is uh, one one reason of all the problems, is so uh, the fourth. Uh, limbs. Uh, then, requesting to turn the will of Dharma is not the, the main of the best of the best that we can uh, get help is occurring and uh, achieving the permanent happiness, happiness, everlasting happiness, and then free from the suffering permanently. That is only possible from Dharma. Therefore, requesting to turn the will of Dharma. Not only for self, but for the well-being of all sentient beings. Yes, that's why it's so important here. And then number five, and then the number six, which is like, how do you say, uh, requesting, beseeching, not to pass into nirvana. So this is now like uh, one way. It's like uh, showing how valuable, how important. Another way is showing everything is impermanent. It, is, it expresses, it indicates the nature of impermanence here. So then number seven, the last one, dedications. Dedications is it's a way that to multiply the whatever credit, whatever, whatever accumulation, whatever things that you have accumulated, uh, either in this uh, context of the Dharma or non-Dharma, like our normal life, something that we have, we have always like tends to invest more, make it more, more better, more, more, everything more. That attitude, that habit we bring here into practice as a dedications, because same thing if we if we live this world normal life if we if we have just a limited source for our livelihood then that may help you to live uh, uh, for month maybe a month and then it is very smart and it is very wise that you would do something that not just for a month, you would do something that you could live six months more from that year, 12 months, 36 months, 48 months, the more and the more. And then if we go more and more until when, until I get retired or even I get retired in, until I die, that we kind of like tends to, you know, Worry and tends to uh, tends to how you say make it safe safety for our, our future. If we do not do that, whatever we have just for a month, if we do not multiply, if we do not you know care about the future, then whatever we have month, it will be sub it's, it's subject to finish within a month or even sometimes less than a month. Something happened. Uh, a tragic, something happened, accident, something happened, whatever, whatever we have supposed to be that will enough for a month, it may enough, it may finish in within few days. Same idea, the way we live, the way our life is, you know, that we apply, the dedication, the practice also say that. Before some defilement, these afflictions, you know, uh, ruin these accumulated whatever the, the marriage 
the goodness. Uh, then we need to dedicate, make it safe. Same like, same like robbery or thieves steal, you know, uh, our, for example, properties or whatever. So the dedications helps in that way. So in that way, that sense, this the seven branch offers other practices, you know, which is added, well, known as one of the best accumulations, uh, source of accumulation of metals. Yes, therefore this is added here. Uh, okay, now we stop here for this evening and then a little bit maybe uh, question answer.